morning, everyone. Thank you. Welcome to the Little Red Schoolhouse. Um, this is the last remaining schoolhouse of its kind in Brockton. Um, it was originally constructed in 1876. If you walk through, you can see many of the items um, that we have preserved in a museum here. Uh, this current place for us was decided in 1963. The original um, site was right over where the West Library is now, or close to that, and they moved it over to here. So welcome to all of you. You are a part of Brockton history. So best of luck to everyone. I want to introduce our moderator, Ms. Kelly Jones, our Director of Bilingual Education. There she is. Our judges are Mr. Robert Sullivan, City Councilor. Mr. Jean Bradley Duran and Court. And our Mayor, Mayor Bill Carpenter. I know you will all enjoy this. Um, take your time, think well, and we're very happy to see you all here. Good morning, everybody. I'd like for us to acknowledge the champions for the schools for the grade six. So I'm going to introduce each of the kids by name. You're going to stand up, raise your hand, and uh, give them a round of applause. So first, from the Ashfield, we have the champion, Jason Wood. <laughs> from the Davis, we have the champion, Ava Hamilton. East, we have Ava Labadoo Champion. From North, we have sixth grade champion Alyssa Broxton. From North, we have sixth grade champion Diana Noyce. From Cliff, we have sixth grade champion Owen Cambio. From Cliff, we have sixth grade champion Cameron Masciano. From South, we have sixth grade champion Aliani Boria. From South, we have sixth grade champion Juliana Nazario. From Trinity, we have sixth grade champion Eric Hilliard. From Trinity, we have sixth grade champion Gabriella Marotti. And from West, we have sixth grade champion Sophia Mendes. Round of applause. Okay, champions, one last time. I will say the word. I'll call your name. You stand up. I'll say the word. You say the word. Spell the word. And when you say the word again, that's when it's closed. You can ask for a definition. You can ask for it to be used in a sentence. You can ask me to repeat it. Okay? And I'll try very hard not to have a main accent. So, all right. So, Jason. Stand up. Jason, your word is imbalance. Um, can you use the word in a sentence? <laughs> uh, I thought the council was going to help us on this one. So, um, sometimes I have an imbalance and I feel dizzy. I'm not good at sentences. Imbalance. I M B A L A N C E imbalance. That is Ava, your word is immune. Immune. I M M U N E immune. Ava. Your word is impossible. Impossible. <clears throat> I-M-P-O-S-S-I-B-L-E. Impossible. <laughs> Alyssa, your word is innocent. Innocent. I-N-N-O-C-E-N-T. Innocent. <laughs> Diana, 
Your word is introduce. Introduce. I N T R O D U C E. Introduce. Oh. Your word is manufacturer. Can you repeat that? Sure. Your word is manufacturer. Manufacturer. M A N U F A C T U R E E R. Manufacturer. Say it a little louder. Yeah. Uh, manufacturer. M A N U F A C T U R E E R. Manufacturer. That is incorrect. That's incorrect. Yeah. Okay. Cameron, your word is manufacturer. Manufacturer. M A N U F U C T U R E R. Manufacturer. That is incorrect. Aliani, your word is manufacturer. Manufacturer. M a N U F A C T U R E R manufacturer. Okay, Juliana. Your word is monotonous. Can you use that in a sentence? Uh, <laughs> I, I panic when I use it in a sentence every time. Sometimes watching the same TV show over and over again becomes monotonous. Thank you, Ms. O'Connell. Monotonous. M-A-N-N-O-T. A-N-O-U-S, monotonous. That is incorrect. Eric, your word is monotonous. Monotonous. M-A-N-N-O-T-E-N-U-S. You have to say it again, the monotonous. word. Monotonous. That is incorrect. Gabriella, your word is monotonous. May you please repeat that? Monotonous. Monotonous. M A N O T I N O U S. Monotonous. That is incorrect. Sophia, your word is monotonous. Please repeat it. Repeat it, sure. Monotonous. Monotonous. M A N N O T I N I S E. Monotonous. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Jason, your word is monotonous. Monotonous. M O N O U T I N O U S monotonous. That is incorrect. Ava, your word is monotonous. Monotonous. M O N O T O N O U S monotonous. That is correct. So Ava, your word is obedience. Um, obedience. O B I E D I um, A N C E. Obedience. That 
that is incorrect. Okay, Alyssa, your word is obedience. Obedience. O B E D I E N C E. Obedience. That's correct. <laughs> Diana, your word is operation. Operation. O P P E R. A-T-I-O-N, operation. That is incorrect. So, that is... Aliani. Aliani. Your word is operation. Operation. O-P-E-R A-T-I-O-N, operation. That's correct. So, Ava, correct. Ava. Ava, the word is paradoxical. Can you use that in a sentence, please? When things are, are opposite, they are seen as paradoxical. Paradoxical. P A R A D O X I C A L paradoxical. Good. <laughs> I'm I'm sweating up here, guys. Okay, so we have Alyssa. Alyssa Broxton. Your word is perforated. Perforated. P E R F E R A T E D. Perforated. That is incorrect. Aliani, your word is perforated. Perforated. P E R F F. E R A T E D perforated. That is incorrect. Okay, so Ava, your word is perforated. Can I have the definition, please? She had the word first. So the first person who got perforated was Aliani, according to my notes. No? No, it, it, was a, it was Alyssa. It was Alyssa? Yes. And then Aliani. And then Ava. So it goes Aliani's next. I mean, Alyssa is next. Then. Alyssa. New word. Okay. Can I spell perforated for all of you? Yes. Okay. So perforated. P E R F O. O R A T E D, perforated. It's a hard one, guys. Okay, so we have now it's Alyssa, Alyssa Aliani, and Ava. The three A's. Okay. Okay. Alyssa, your word is poultry. 
poultry. Can you use it in a sentence? Sure. Chicken is sometimes called poultry. Poultry. P U L L T R Y. Poultry. That is incorrect. Alyssa. Aliane. Yes. Your word is poultry. Poultry. P O U L T R Y. Poultry. That is correct. Okay. Ava, your word is prominent. Prominent. P R O M I N E N T. Prominent. That's correct. Aliani, your word is pursue. Pursue. P E R S. U E pursue. That is incorrect. Ava, your word is pursue. Pursue. P U R S U E pursue. Your your word for for the win is sculptor. Could you use that in a sentence, please? Um, an artist who makes sculptures is called a sculptor. <laughs> Sculpture. Sculptor. Yes. S C U L P T U R E. Sculptor. That is incorrect. So what happens? So we go back to Aliani with the new word. With a new word. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then Aliani, your word is silhouette. <laughs> silhouette. S. S-I-L-U-H-U-E-T-E. -E. Silhouette. That is incorrect. Ava, your word is silhouette. Silhouette. S-I-L-H-O-U-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Silhouette. That's correct. Ava, your word is sleuth. Sleuth. S L U E T H. Sleuth. That is incorrect. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aliani, you're back. This is exciting. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go to number 53. Okay. Aliani, the word is subdue. Subdue. Wait, can you repeat that? Your word is subdue. Subdue. S U B D U E. Subdue. All right. So, so now, Ava. Okay. Your word is switch. Switch. S W I T C H. Switch. Correct. Okay, good. Yes, Aliani, your turn. Your word is testimonial. Oh, okay. Um, can you use that in a definition? Oh, you want the de definition? It's a noun, affirmation of the superior character or quality of someone or something, letter or statement or recommendation. Can I have it in a sentence also? Oh, you would have it in a sentence. Um, 
When I write letters of recommendations, I provide a testimonial for someone's um, qualifications. Okay. Testimonial. T E S T I M O N I. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. Testimonial. T E S T I M O N I. A-L, testimonial. Okay, Ava, your word is tuxedo. Tuxedo. T-U-X-E-D-O, tuxedo. That is correct. I'm stressing out up here, guys. Okay, the next word is unnecessary. Oh, unnecessary. U N. E S S. Oh, can I start over? Mm -hmm. um, unnecessary. U N E S S A S R Y. Unnecessary. That is incorrect. Ava, your word is unnecessary. Unnecessary. U N E S S E. Can I start over? Mm -hmm. Unnecessary. U N E S S I C A R Y. Unnecessary. That is incorrect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, your word is venom. Venom. Um, can I have it in a sentence? Sure. Yes. We go, go ahead. Oh, you go no, ahead, ma'am. No. I defer to you. Go ahead, Castle. I'm just a castle, not the man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy with the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> When a snake, when a snake bites, it injects venom. Oh, okay. All right. Um, venom. V e n u m. Venom. That is incorrect. Ava. Venom. Venom. V e n o m. Venom. That is correct. Okay. For the win, the word is. Calligraphy. Calligraphy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the next one. Calligraphy. C A L L I G R A P H Y. Calligraphy. That is correct. That was wonderful, every one of you. That was great. Um, we never know how long uh, these will last, and this went on for a very, very long time. So thanks to all of you, and um, I'd like to award um, a third place, a second place, and a first place ribbon and a book gift certificate to Paperback Junction <coughs> in Northeastern. And to all of you, you will be receiving um, a heavy um, certificate to be framed if you want it for your wall, awarded by the Little Red Schoolhouse. So thanks very much. Uh, first person I'd like to see for third place is Alisa, Alisa, Alisa Brox. Second place winner, Aliani Boria. Congratulations. 
And our first place winner, Ava Hamilton. And we hope to see you back next year, too. So this concludes the morning um, spelling bees. We'll resume at 1230 this afternoon with grade four. So thanks, everybody.